Hi, how are you? It's fabulous. Right? That's nice. Didn't I do a great job? Uh, you know, you did it better than me. Oh my God! If I have only been a guy when they were auditioning for right? that role, right? Exactly. And, and I'd be out of I'd be out of work. <laughs> how are you guys? Doing Excellent. Great. Doing great. Congratulations for being here in the Dallas Film Festival. Mm -hmm. I talked to you about your amazing film. So tell me, how was to be together? Oh, it's fantastic. I'm just really thankful that Lou is able to make it down for our premiere. We're screening tonight at 10 o'clock. Um, and I just can't wait for everybody to see his performance uh, as James Silo. It's just incredible, incredible performance, uh, incredible individual actor, everything. How, what attracted you from the project? What was the reason that you were like, oh. or was it 200 million that you paid? <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't that. Although I did get all the Shiner Bach I could drink, which was pretty fantastic. Hey, yeah, hey, I'll, I'll drink you know, it anytime. Exactly. Uh, uh, it not only st starts with the script, but I mean, it, it starts with, with the cover letter, to be quite honest. Malcolm McDowell was already attached. I love Malcolm. I've uh, been a fan of his forever. Uh, I love the genre. It's, it's a horror film, but it's an anthology like The Twilight Zone, like The Outer Limits. Um, I've acted and directed in, in uh, uh, the modern incarnations of those. And, you know, Kerry is, is an up-and-coming, you know, San Antonio film director. He's, you know, he's at Tejano. He's, he's, he comes from here, as did I. And it was an opportunity for me to uh, to really put my money where my mouth is and say, you know what, I'm going to support, you know, these young, talented guys. The script was fantastic. It, it, it gave me total faith in his ability to pull this off. And I have to say, working with him as a director, this guy's going places. And, uh, you know, I, I hope he returns guy, my calls. This guy, look at him. Look at him. You look at this mush right here. This director right here. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. You're so good. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, how else were you to work with him when he was like just drinking all the Shiner Bug that Being I hear the about? Bug, was, uh, tapping kegs. I was terrible. Was all, no, it was it was a it was a drink come true. It was uh, it was just such a professional and just such an amazing actor and just uh, mastered his craft. And so I just couldn't uh, have been happier about the entire experience. It was really incredible. Well, guys, congratulations. And my last thing. You cannot go before saying something in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> hey, hey. So there you go. All these Americans. Hola. <laughs> uh, you know what? Speaking of Spanish, check out Philly Brown. Opens on April 19th across the country. Myself, Gina Rodriguez, who's amazing. And sadly enough, the late uh, Jenny Rivera plays my wife. So, yeah, you have to, you have to check that out. We are going to check it out. Please do. But you have to say, para bailar la bamba. That's a Spanish. I said, no, but then I, you know what? I have to, I have to, to pay the, the, the residuals on that and the rights. And really, they, they, they've, they've stopped me from doing it. Uh, you know, I, they copyrighted it. I can no longer say it, you know. Uh, hey. Arriba, arriba, andale, andale. That's really all I can say. Por favor, tienes que ver San Antonio. Me está dando esta noche a las 10 a la Magnolia. Gracias. Gracias, chicos. There you go. That's See? Spanish, right? Right? Adios.